I'm Natalie Forte. And I'm Justin Walter. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, get out. out. It is gorgeous outside. I know. It's so oh. beautiful and it really makes me want to get physical. Yeah, you do eat a lot, Natalie, so maybe you should start working out too. You know what? You're probably right. Uh, it's all about balance. I love to eat and I should be working out more. So I'm going to do that right now. It's a beautiful morning here in Santa Monica and I still have to get my workout in. So instead of going to the gym, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to enjoy the sand and the beach and get my butt kicked all at the same time. I think I see the big man. Let's go. One, counting on the up. What do you got? Two, we're going to ten. Dropping it down. Driving your heel up to the sky. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Straight arm. Straight arm. Drive those hips forward. Drive them forward, guys. I'm here with Big Mike from Big Mike. Ultimate beach workout. It's a mouthful, but I love it. You got it, you got it. Did I get it? And you yes. go by Big Mike? I do go by Big Mike. Everybody calls me that. Look at these guns. I know why. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are a lot of different outdoor uh, group fitness classes in Santa Monica, some on the beach. How does yours stand out? It stands out because it's on the sand the entire time. Uh, we work between 20% and 80% harder per given wor uh, exercise. And you, but you pay very little impact uh, on your joints and all that. Absolutely, and you're enjoying the beautiful beach out here in Santa Monica. I mean, you can't get better than this, I feel like, as far as views go. Yeah. Yeah. Good for the spirit, good for the soul. There's a very big fun component to it. Uh, three brand new workouts every month and I mix them up so you never know when they, really when they're coming. And, See, I uh, like that because I, I get bored easily with my yeah, workout mm -hmm. so I have to switch it up so I know I'm going to love this. Now what are we doing today? What is the class going to be so like? Today the workout is called the Flexagon. It's six different stations, six different movements from station oh. to station, a big sprint around the outside of it once we're all done and then just to throw a cherry on top we throw a, a big set of abs at, at the very end. Of so. course you got to get the abs right? right? We want those washboard stuff. Exactly. <laughs> or just tone for women. I don't want to look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Remember those? Get set and go. Counting on the up. What? How many is that? Two. Counting all the way up. There you go. There we go. Big twist, guys. Big rotation. I know it's tougher, right? That's sort of the point. Breathe on the way up. Very nice. Intensity, guys. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. All the way. All the way. All the way. What you got? What you got? Now it's at your own pace. Attack the course at will. Attack it at will. Go, 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 knock it out, knock it out. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Looking good, looking good, guys. Good oh work today. God. That was one of the <laughs> toughest and best workouts I've had in a really long time. So if people want to get a hold of you, where can they go? They can go to my website, ultimatebeachworkout.com, or give me a call, 310-910-5225. Perfect. And a free workout for free, someone trying this for the one, first time? One free introductory workout. Come and check me out and see how you like the, the program. Can't beat that. Woo! Thanks, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Natalie, are you a little sore? That looked like an intense workout. It was so intense, but it was such a good workout. Mm. I really needed it. And Big Mike was so great. You would have loved I'm it. I'm jealous. i got to check it out sometime. But now yeah. it's my turn to uh, go check out some local art. Ooh, fun. On a simple walk down Ocean Boulevard, you've got the beach, you've got the promenade, you've got the pier, but did you know there's a secret art gem? Well, I'm going to go check it out. I'm here at the Hamilton and Bliker Galleries, and joining me now is Kate, so thank you for joining us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the theme of the exhibits that go into these galleries. Everything really exemplifies Southern California with the ocean, the beautiful women on the beach, animals, and the lively color that we have in Southern California. I know, when I first walked in, I was just taken away by the vibrant colors in all of these paintings. Mm -hmm. So that kind of goes along with the theme, like you're saying, right? Yeah, and it energizes you with energy and just, it has a, everything has a really happy feeling to it as yeah. well. So the mm -hmm. exhibits, do they change throughout the different museums or how does it work here? Hamilton Galleries usually exhibits our main artist Warren Long with a few others. And then Bliker Gallery, the exhibits usually change about every month. Okay. So, but we do have permanent artists with that as well. Now your mm -hmm. proximity, the location, it's right by the pier, right by the ocean. Yeah, correct? the pier is just a block away. Third Street Promenade is two blocks away. 
Uh, we're close to all the hotels and it's a very lively community down here. So why would you recommend someone to come make this a destination for them to check out when, you know, there's all this other stuff to check out? Because this is the epitome of Southern California and it's also a fun environment to be in. And you can support the local economy and just see what local artists are exploring in their new pieces as well. Cool, yeah. so can we walk around and take a look at some of your favorite pieces? Of course. Let's do yeah. it. So Kate, you said the art here exemplifies Southern California. So when I take a look at this piece, that looks like Southern California to me. <laughs> exactly. So could, yeah, tell us a little bit about it. Well, you see the water skiers and the swimmers, and everyone has a dog down here, of course. <laughs> you gotta have your dog right? here. Right? One of my favorite spots in Southern California, in Santa Monica specifically, is the Ferris wheel and the pier. Well, this is called Angels of Pier, okay. and you can see the little angels dancing around the pier here. So it's a little play on words, angels up here. Exactly. <laughs> Very uh -huh. creative. All right, Kate, so we're crossing to the other side, the different gallery. Yes, this is Bliker Gallery. Bliker Gallery. So the first thing I notice is this totem. Yes, and that's actually the name of it. <laughs> See, I could be an artist, right? <laughs> So this is by Edie Moses and she actually scans wires and hardware and then in Photoshop she makes some abstract oh, images. Like <gasps> yeah. Look at the horse. <laughs> Natalie, my co-host, she loves horses. She's gonna be jealous that I'm here. <laughs> well, I am a huge fan of board games, so this chess piece might be my favorite in the in the gallery. <laughs> this is a piece by Una Navarre and she made the board and all the little ceramic pieces too. I love it. Uh -huh. It's so rustic and kind of organic looking. Right. You know? So do you know how to play chess? Um, no, I do not. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Checkmate. I just won. I won in two moves. Well thank you, Kate. I really enjoyed the galleries here. A lot of great work. Thank you for coming. So where can someone find out more information? Well, we're open seven days a week and our address is 1431 Ocean Avenue, uh, Suite 1800. And we're right on the water. Right on so, the water. Mm -hmm. So what about more information online? Well, we have two websites because we have two different galleries. So one is hamiltongalleries.com and the other one is Santa Monica period bgartdealings.com. Great, well mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you. Justin, that looked like so much fun. It was. I want my turn to do something artsy and creative. Well, you have stimulated your body, so it's your turn to stimulate your mind now. You are right, and I'm gonna do that right now. We are so overstimulated nowadays. I mean, look around, there's so much going on that sometimes you just wanna let go, de-stress, and express yourself. And we're gonna do just that at Working Village. It's tucked away at Marine and Maine. I've heard such great things, and I cannot wait to just relax. Let's go. with Debbie Locke of Expressive Exchange. How are you doing? Good, how are you, Nellie? Wonderful, thank you so much for having us. And I'm dying to hear what you guys do, because this is not your normal, everyday art workshop, right? Not at all. What do you guys do here? It's all about expressing your feelings through color and paint. We don't use paintbrushes, we use sponge, makeup sponges, which I call magic sponges, Whoa. and Q-tips. They're all guided, guided exercises that helps people come in and just relax really stress oh or just to have fun. I work with kids from the age of six to adults, men and women, just get the paint onto canvas and expressing their feelings through color. That's so neat. And not, it's, like, it's like painting with a purpose. Painting with a purpose, I love that. But the big thing is like, it's like let go, paint, express. That, that's kind of That sounds like motto. heaven to me right now. Okay, well, are you gonna let me join in? Definitely. <laughs> Can I please? Because now this already sounds fantastic. Definitely. All right, I'm excited to try it. So um, let's just get started and I'll follow your lead. Okay. Okay, thanks. Sounds good. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and relax. Take yourself to a beautiful flower garden that you've been to or would like to go to. Imagine all the colors surrounding you every type of flower and color imaginable. And then this is a time for you to just let go. It's all about kind of your emotion and what's coming out. All right, now that's fabulous. You're blending and letting go. What 
I love about doing this is just being like not in my head but into the paint. Let it go. Let it go. Right? Let it go. Paint. Paint. Be done. Spread. Okay. Debbie, this was so fun. I'm hooked. I like don't want to stop right now because I'm just getting warmed up and I, I love this and you guys are going to love it out there too. So if people want to get a hold of you, um, how can they? What's your website and all your info? They can reach me at expressiveexchange.com. Okay. You can also find me on Facebook. My phone number is 310-990-7163. Give me a call and we can we do individual and group workshops. Nice. Oh, I love it. All right. And I get to keep these, right? Definitely. get to take them home. You don't want them to put on your wall? I would if you let me. You're sweet. Too kind. Mwah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You were great. You. Another Thank round you. of applause for this awesome Yay. workshop. Woo! <clears throat> All right. I have to say, Natalie, you do look like a real artist. Thank you, darling. Debbie taught me to let go, paint, and express, and I did just that. It was so fun. Well, with every masterpiece, there has to be a mixed yeah, up. Justin, <laughs> look at this one. I didn't want to show that. I wasn't finished. <laughs> I wasn't done, but there's no wrong or bad paintings in Debbie's class. So. It's all right. Well, yeah. you put in a lot of work. I did. I've been putting in a lot of work today, so I've worked up an appetite. Let's go eat, right? Well, yeah, it's too bad you're hungry because I should have just probably painted you an apple because you're not going where I'm going. Sorry, all buddy. All right, Natalie. I'm going to go eat and cook. I can't wait. Here's the thing. It's been a long day. A great day, but a long day. I am starving, but I still want to enjoy that Santa Monica ocean breeze and dine in some great atmosphere. So luckily I found Sonoma Wine Garden on the dining deck of Santa Monica Place. It's this hidden little oasis, and I cannot wait to try their food. Let's go. I'm hanging here with Chef Gary from Sonoma Wine Garden. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Fabulous. Now that I'm here, I'm loving this patio. Right? Amazing. Me too. So, okay, tell me a little bit about Sonoma Wine Garden and the concept. Uh, you know, Sonoma Wine Garden is a farmer's driven uh, restaurant. Uh, we have a uh, farmer's market every Wednesday, especially today. Yeah. Uh, I come over there in the morning, pick up some products. We try to switch the menus uh, on a rotation of season, seasonal. Right. So. so what are some of your specialty dishes? What do people love here? Uh, special dishes over here is, is, is our vegan pizza. Really? We use, we use all fresh ingredients. There's no, there's no, uh, no products in there. It's all vegetables. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's, it's you know, freshly made from scratch. And it tastes good because it, it has great. to taste good. Yeah, it's all about the flavors, right? Right. Yeah, right. Okay. This, is, this is like a, uh, a hidden jewel here in a, in a Santa Monica place. You know what I mean? Hidden jewel, I like yeah, that. Because if... nobody really knows about it, but you know. But we do now, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys do now. Yeah. Yes. So what do you say about uh, making a pizza and a couple of desserts in the kitchen? Chef, what do you think? done. I am ready. Put me to work and then I want to get my grub on. Awesome. Okay. I can't wait. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to put our uh, our marinara sauce okay. in here, and then we're just gonna do a little twist, okay? Mm. Natalie, you wanna you wanna help me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Get what the do... ingredients together. Sure. Let's, let's do, do the uh, let's do the red onions. Got it. Let's do the red onions first. Just kind of like you know scatter them around. Scatter them. Oven roasted tomatoes. Oh. Right. Shishito peppers, some Japanese peppers. I love right? shishito. You like? I've like never shishito. had it on a pizza though. Oh, garlic. Your fresh garlic. Oh. Yes. Smell that. Yummy. We can't make out though later. The only thing. Fennel, shaved fennel last because uh, it, it cooks really fast. Now, put it in the oven. Let's put them in the oven. Let's do it. Can I help? Absolutely. Can you tell I like doing this? It's so fun. All so, right. right over there, right in the middle. There you go. Woo! Perfect. I did it. You're just a natural. Well, thank you, Dolly. Hey, hooray. Justin, what are you doing here? Keeping it nice and ready for you, Natalie. Wow. Every little staycation. Yeah. Silly? I can't believe I'm you're making here. you do all the work today. Well, I enjoy the beautiful weather <laughs> yeah, here. I can tell. It's well, amazing. look, you didn't eat my pizza, thank goodness. You made this, right? I did. It's a vegan pizza. It's fantastic. Chef was such a great teacher, and I can't wait to eat it. Mm. This is so good. You did a great job, Natalie. Thank you, darling. And it was so easy to get to you. I valeted on Second Street, and then only on the third floor of the dining deck in the Santa Monica place. Yes, and you have to go to SonomaWineGarden.com to get more info. There's so much going on here. You guys are going to just love it. And they okay. just opened a new uh, restaurant, Bamboo Utsukaya, also. Wow. So lots of great things happening. All right, I'm going to keep eating. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Cheers. Love mm -hmm. these drinks. 
Jason, you sneaky guy, you. You know, that's why you love me, Natalie. It is true. It ended <laughs> up being fun. You were just, you know, always surprising me. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are out of time, but thank you so much for joining us for another fun episode of Get, get out. out. You get out. No, you are your turn to get out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.